been four months since the Escondido area started enforcing a homeless encampment ban, but we found one apartment complex in Escondido now housing dozens of people experiencing homelessness near a creek in their backyard. After months of complaints from residents and management at Cross Creek Apartments, my co-anchor Wally Aliu is following through, showing us something is finally being done. I'm looking in your eyes and I'm just seeing a little, you're, you're getting teary eyed right here because mm -hmm. it's that sad. It's upsetting. Yeah. Yeah. Very upsetting. And that's a tent there. Most, most of them are inside there. Then if you go out uh, around, you're, it goes all the way down to the police department. Property manager Kathy Fox and I walked into the backyard of 152 residents, and it didn't take long before we saw people who were homeless walking right past us, <laughs> right to their encampment. What would you say is the biggest emotion seeing this? Is it fear? Is it anger? Is I'm it sad. Disappointment? Is it sadness? Disappointment. It's devastating. It's heartbreaking. As you can see, the creek is starting to fill up for the winter. So when it rains, um, it actually will go almost all the way up to the sidewalk. Um, I would say the city has a lot to clean up, and it's a shame that they had to wait this long to do it. I, I wish they would have responded uh, back in July. She said she's been going back and forth with the police department and other city agencies ever since new laws banned camping this summer. The streets are getting clean, but they're here. Near schools, trolley stops, parks, and other major spaces. Do you let your grandkids play in this backyard at all? Oh, no, not anymore. No, they're not allowed to. And they don't want to either. They're afraid. They're afraid every time they see somebody walking down in there, they are automatically open. Oh my gosh, what's going to happen now? So. And they're walking up to your door. They are. They're walking all the way up to our patio. Taking yeah. packages. Taking packages. Mm -hmm. They're dealing with the exact same individual that they just talked to an hour ago, and they're going to talk to again in another hour. It is this constant cycle uh, where our police officers are going out. They're trying to do a job to make the community safer, but they have been taken, the tool has been taken away from them to actually solve the issue. Quite frankly, to also solve it for that individual. What would you say if I told you that for police, they feel overwhelmed as well. Like they need help. They like have they to be. are playing a game of whack a mole as well, and they can't keep up. Their and... hands are tied because of the laws that are in place. The city tells us it will be coming here the next couple of days to clean up this encampment. In fact, workers have already posted these signs. Them coming up for the next few days to clean up, you think that's going to make a difference? That's a very good question. These people need to have some type of help. Escondido police tell us this is a problem that has appeared and disappeared periodically over the years. They say they are currently researching the problem and attempting to understand the many contributing factors.